Someone said, life is racing and everything else is just waiting. I'm probably bored 90% of the time. And the times that I'm not bored is when I'm flying, is when I'm flying my hand glider, when I'm racing the M Coop. Because all of a sudden the world moves up to my speed. My name is Alex McCullough and I drive a BMW M Coupe. The M Coupe was a project designed by the M division of BMW by a guy named Buchart Gachel. Unlike other BMWs, the M Coupe was not a product of marketing or branding. And the M guys said, the M Roaster is a great car, but it's a little bit flexy, it's a convertible. If we put a roof on it and shoehorn the biggest motor we can fit in it, it's going to make it a lot more rigid and uh, we'll have a very unique vehicle. It's the lowest production run BMW that wasn't a special edition or a limited production run. And it didn't sell. Dealers hated it. But specifically because of that, it's become highly desirable. So in the last two years of production, where they made roughly 678, depending on who you ask, they put the motor out of the E46 M3, and that produces 315 horsepower. At the time, the way they had to mute it a little bit so it wouldn't outperform the M3 was they gave it a five-speed gearbox with a really tall final drive. Because otherwise, the power to weight ratio is way better on an M Coupe. The M Coupe was the only car I've ever wanted. And so when I finally got lucky enough to get one, I made an agreement with myself in the M Coupe that I would only modify it in ways that I could put it back to stock. So within 48 hours, I could put my car exactly back to stock. Its big liability is that it has the E30 M3 rear suspension. It makes the car very fun and rewarding to drive, but it also makes it very difficult to drive fast. And whatever you do, you just cannot lift in a turn. You have to steer the car with you. Your foot and your hands are connected. They act as one. And when you don't drive the vehicle like that, it'll bite you. And so what I've done to modify it is tune that suspension to be able to be used in a time trial track environment. I used to say it wanted to kill me. And now we've kind of reached an agreement where it's not quite as murderous. The thing I ever wanted to do growing up was fly. That was my dream. When I turned 21, I went skydiving. And the skydive was cool, it was, a, it was fun and exhilarating. But once I was under a good canopy, I had five minutes of sunset, of just peaceful being by myself, flying through the air. And immediately, I, I was like a fish in water. I was like, this is where I belong. So I'm an airline pilot for my day job. It, it's a great responsibility to, to uh, have people's lives in my hands and to make decisions based on that and I don't take that responsibility lightly. And then I also fly hang gliders and, and actually race hang gliders in this obscure world of cross-country distance competitive hang gliding that nobody knows exists. Hang gliding for me allowed me to be in the movie rather than watching it through a window. I was immersed into flying and the only way I can stay up is to use my talent and it's organic. There's no motor. I have to use my skill and my ability to read the air like a kayaker reads the river to stay up. People think that I'm a daredevil because of hang gliding, and I would actually argue that hang gliding is one of the safest things that I do. And the most rewarding thing about it for me is just being able to perform at that level. Being able to use my mind, my body, and my soul to accomplish this task. And I think that's where driving fits into the picture too. When I first got the M Coupe, it was an exercise in frustration to use on public roads. The M Coupe wants to be driven. It, it becomes an extension of yourself and you wear it like a, like a running shoe. 
you cannot do that on public roads safely. It's fun to go on a Sunday drive and push it a little bit, but you just cannot challenge yourself. So I had to find a place where I could do that with the M-Coupe and get that same experience I get out of hand gliding, of being challenged, of performing at a high level. I run NASA TTB, which is the highest I can go before I basically go unlimited, which is power to weight, where I, I won't be competitive. So I can't really do a whole lot more to the car as far as the regulations go. I'm pretty much tapped out, which means I have to improve the driver. So I need to be better. I need to challenge. I actually hurt my neck, uh, probably in part from driving the M-Coupe close to its limit. And so I can't race this season. That's gonna be a lot of boredom for me, sitting around thinking about stewing just channeling my energy so that when I come back, it's very metered aggression in a positive, productive way, and I can be faster.